how's up y'all? Today I thought I'd do something which is going to be very weird today so I'm going to try out the food from TK Maxx today. TK Maxx is known for its really weird clothes and the way the clothes are just shoved everywhere so when you go to TK Maxx like you can literally see like a pair of men's swimwear but then like see a pair of like bikini tops for I don't know, the sea. Like, they're very much known for the weird and chaotic and scruffy and messy stores and the weird things you can get from there as well, like food. So I thought I'd try them today for you guys and see if they actually taste good because I've always been intrigued as to whether they taste good or not. So I'm gonna try them out today for you guys so you don't have to, so this is my gift to you. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So, there's things here such as pasta and tea and all the things, but they need to be cooked or have water boiled onto them, so I'm gonna leave these to last. So I'm gonna try things which I can eat right now first. So, first of all, we have these raspberry flavoured macarons. So, I've not tried a macaron in ages, but I can still sort of remember what it tastes like, but I've definitely never tried raspberry flavoured macarons before though, so this is gonna be an experience. And here's another thing as well, like when I looked at the foods in TK Maxx, like they came like huge packs of like 10, which I didn't buy because I was thinking, well, well, if I don't like the food, then I've literally still got like nine more foods to go. Like it would have been a huge waste. So I tried to get as little packs as possible. Like, so then if I don't like it, then I won't feel like I've wasted like all that food. So it looks like this. So I'm gonna open one up. Mm, it doesn't smell very good. Okay, so here's what it looks like. So it's like a that pink kind of thing. Ew, the middle bit looks a bit off-putting. Mm. Tastes all right. I mean, is it the best thing you've ever tasted? Absolutely no, like, I've tasted way better than that, but it's actually all right. So we'll say, like, it tastes a mix of, like, stale digestives crossed with, like, the red sherbet you, you taste from the ice cream van. Like, it tastes a combination of that, but it's actually all right. Like, I'll, I'll eat it again, but after, like I said, it's not the most best tasting thing ever, but it's eatable. I will say like it's edible. I haven't died from it, so that's good. I'm gonna rate that thing. Um, I think I'll rate it a 7 out of 10 because it's not really the best tasting thing in the world. Like the texture when you first eat it feels like eating a stale biscuit, but once you taste it and it tastes Alright, so yeah, I think a 7 out of 10 would be justified for that thing. Anyway, next things next are these thy chili sweet potato veg sticks. So I am not looking forward to tasting this, guys, because I don't mind sweet potato, but I think it's a chili and also the other things which is making me kind of like apprehensive about eating it because I don't know, but so you can see in here that like, it's very sort of like you look like chips. They look really light, so I'm gonna try one. Oh, I'm actually really terrified. Mm, I'll have to try another. Mm, no, that thing ain't good. Again, I'm not sure though. I'll try one more. Mm, I'm not sure. I kinda like it, kind of don't at the same time. No, I don't think really I like it. No, I don't I don't like this thing at all. I thought I liked it at first, like when I first tasted it, like it tastes good at first, but then it doesn't taste very good, so oh god. So I think I've come to the conclusion that I actually don't like the sweet potato stick, so I'm rating that a two out of ten, like oh my god, I do not like that thing. Like that thing is actually disgusting. Okay, so the next two things you need a hob to boil the pasta and also a kettle to boil this tea so I'm gonna do the next two things now so first of all this pasta so it looks very colourful and it looks very nice so we'll say but yeah I mean what can you go wrong with pasta like pasta's pasta so I presume it'll taste nice I'm hoping it'll taste nice I'm gonna boil this thing right now and see if it actually just tastes nice and I think I'll make this tea to drink it with so pasta and a cup of tea it is okay so here's my pasta uh, so I've also got some tea as well, which I need to boil the kettle for. So tea and pasta, anyone? <laughs> First of all, I need to boil the kettle for both things because I need the kettle water to go and boil the pasta. I also need kettle to make tea. So how do you make this hangover tea? I'm assuming you make it as you make your, your other tea, even though I've not had tea in 
years. Oh, there you go. Sorry, I remember what I used. One bag of water per cup. Add freshly boiled water. Infuse for five minutes. So that means like leave it to brew, I guess. Got my saucepan. Okay, I know it sounds bad, but normally what I do is I'll heat up the saucepan with nothing in it before the kettle water goes in. So I'm going to heat it up right now on the highest pulse setting and then wait till it gets hot and then I'll see the boiling hot kettle water will go into the pan. I might even put the pasta in now actually before the water gets in there. Okay, so while this is boiling, which I can see is already boiling already, so it must be quite quick. I'm going to make the tea right now. So you just make it like any other tea. Just put the tea bag in there and then just let it simmer for about five minutes. So we're about to work quite quickly because the thing's bubbling. Oh. Is it done yet? I don't think it is. Okay, so it's Okay, so here's what this thing looks like. So it's like a little tea bag, like a tag thing. The you put on the outside. Okay, so you leave this thing in there for around five minutes to like brew and do all the things. As for the pasta, it looks really good, so I think it's like some pink pasta water right now. Like I think the diner pasta turned the water pinkish, but I think that's more than done. But uh, so here's what the pasta looks like. It looks really good. Like it looks nice and the dye hasn't like faded either, like it stayed the same as in this box here. So that's what I liked about it, that's what I liked. I thought it would like fade when cooked so I can make it so sort of like the same colour kind of but um, it's not, it's say the same and it looks good. And the pasta water has in fact turned pink, like that is pink pasta water. And then the tea is doing good as well, that's still got another two minutes left to brew. Okay, time for the moment of truth. So this is just plain pasta, like I added not any sauce to it, like I'm trying to get plain or plain or because I remember years ago when I was a child, like I literally only used to eat plain pasta, like I could not have pasta with anything else, just plain old pasta, and so it's, this is like relieving my childhood of plain pasta. Anyway, so, oh, oh, oh. Yes, this is so good. I remember like it tastes like pasta, but it just looks nice. But it's so freaking good. Okay, so I've just had the pasta. Pasta was really lovely. Well, as lovely as plain pasta with just salt as the seasoning goes, but I think the most off-putting thing though, I have found that the water, like the pasta water does turn like pink so I guess for some people that can be kind of off-putting but for me it wasn't like it tasted good so I mean I was alright with it but I was just thinking of other people. Now I've got this like tea right now so if you get a glimpse of the inside like that's how the inside looks right now. Some people might think it looks like some things but I'm gonna drink it anyway. It doesn't really taste of anything it just tastes of pepperminty water. I can't say I've not done it properly because I've done all the things. Like I left it in there five minutes, in fact even more actually because I was busy trying to do the pasta. So I left a bag in there and let it brew and stuff so I can't say I've done anything wrong so probably just the how the tea tastes. I mean it tastes alright-ish but I wouldn't have this like every day but if you guys are into like pepperminty water then this thing might be for you. <laughs> okay, so I can't really tell you what the product's like because I haven't even tried them yet. Like, I'm doing the outro before I do those pasta stuff, so. I hope you guys liked watching this video. If you have, don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe, do all the things. Let me know what videos from until next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the vlogging channel as well, where I'm vlogging every single day. And so, yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I shall see you guys in another video. Goodbye.